to Vlogmas with Queenie in London, day 20. We've just got off the bus here at Westminster Cathedral. There's another lights tour bus, I love them. And we've come here to do some shopping, probably food shopping at Marks and Spencers. We're going to nip into this wall to Stones here. It's very festive here, so I thought I'd take you along with us. I hope you enjoy. Decorations, it's well fun. Oh, it's called the Pop Up Club. We're heading to Marks and Spencers in a minute, but I like the way that you can see the cathedral through it. Look how pretty that looks. Lovely. Westminster Cathedral. Here is Marks and Spencers. We shall go in. I've been distracted on our way to the food by Christmas sparkles. There's quite a lot. And there's a jumper, like a sweatshirt one. We're looking for the ombre jacket which I can't find. These tops are cute. More festive sparkles, it's like a jumper dress. And there's some glittery trousers over there. This one, this top, pretty. I like these red satin shirts. These are really pretty. They're lovely and lightweight as well. I'm loving these with the houses on. They're lovely. Up the buffalo check PJs for the whole family. That one on the end, it looks so cosy. Supermarkets start having mounds and mounds of veg. It's the last one of these. It's been reduced, but they are so yummy. It's been my favourite festive sandwich. It's like sourdough. You know what I like doing? Popping it in the oven for a little bit just to warm it up. I'd have that all day long. also have whole party platters eyes on their flavours. They are yummy if you're having a party. The bit here is all M&S's takeaway festive range. That is gorgeous. Let me show you it. This is so tasty. The bun is delish with the brie. And we always love these cranberry sausage rolls. Um, have they got the other thing? The, this is yummy. The relish is really nice. The little posh job sausages. And then you have like the standard ones that they do every year. Everybody loves that turkey feast. And then they have like a gluten-free one up there. And they also have like a brie one in a sandwich, which is also rather yummy. So you have a very good selection of party food at Marks and Spencers. And it's all like four for three, which is a good deal. I'll try and find a section where I can film it for you a bit better, but there are loads. Mm. Cheesy pigs in blankets. Stuff I have not seen in our branch. Look at these snowman bow buns. Oh, their best ever prawn toast. All oh, butter. These are collections, so they're fancy. Pastry mini pies. I love everything in mini. Chorizo pigs in blankets, mini cheeseburgers, and there's mini Kievs and mini chicken burgers. These sound like heaven to me. Yum! These are yummy, Queenie approved. As are these. Desperately need to try these. Never seen them before here. Mm -mm. So 
much here I've not even seen on a cardo. This sounds rather yummy. Turkey and trimmings pie. So that's how it looks, look. And then here you go. You can see what's inside. Doesn't that sound good? It's 5.25. Here are all your puddings and all your minced pies. Oh yes. Chocolate caramel cake. Just read that. Let me try and get it down for you so you can look because we know we need to see on Queenie of London. Look how gorgeous is the little candy canes. Doesn't that look lovely? It's £18. To see they're not going to run out of the Yule Log. And of course, we have a special Christmas jumper, Colin the Caterpillar. Look at that on his little sweater. There's his face up there in it. Oh, bless him. He is 12. Pig chocolate coins. Oh, top iced fruit cake. Tunis, Tunis cake. A nice Madeira cake. And look at these little darlingish puddings. <laughs> look how diddy. 175. And then you've got bigger ones. And then bigger ones. And here are all your pies. What's your favourite mince pie? Do you like a classic one? An icing top one? I like, I tell you what, a puff pastry one with brandy cream. Mm -mm. Look at the, I want to try these. These, look, hang on, sorry to point you at an empty shelf. Look at these brown butter mince pie. Don't they look like homemade and gorgeous? The bakery ones that they have here are really tasty homemade. Mini iced fruit cakes and a Genoa cake that is pretty heavy. These little stolen bites and look at the sound of this perfectly matured jewel topped cherry and orange Christmas pudding. Then you have some more like fancy ones there. That pudding is 13. And what do we have here? Chocolate and hazelnut mince pies. Mm -mm. And these are your fancy mince pies in the boxes. Look at those. And you have more fancy, fancy, fancy things here. You can just feast your eyes. There's a whole stolen loaf. A perfectly matured rich fruit cake, like iced all the way round. That's 20. No, oh, that one's 12. And then you can have a big one for 20. And that's another stolen loaf. A rich fruit cake with no icing. And there's your gluten free options. Christmas biscuit tins. These used to sing at Marks and Spencer's, but I don't think they're musical anymore. And then you have the lovely shortbread ones with the like reindeer on. And we love the cookie selection of that box. They are so nice, the cookies, and they're extremely chocolatey. And then you have these up here, which I love the look of. How cute are they? Oh my, I haven't seen them. And then marzipan fruits, are they? Little selections are really cute for the children they're nine pounds and you get like quite a lot in there very berry munch and the other one is very jelly munch which are sweet and you can have different oh my gosh look at the Percy in the Percy Express I have not seen that he's five and then you have like your standard Percy stuff and what else have you got let me just point you there for a second what are these oh Mellow and Sparkle Bubbly Bar. Well, that's a nice idea. How much is that? Four pound. And then up there I have these all the time. These chocolate corns. These Amaretti biscuits. And you have these. And these gorgeous boxes of the Belgium chocolates, which are always yummy. Chocolate biscuit batons and pearls. Six pounds. And these are like the special tins of coffee down there and you have some bubbles. So these are just like the little gift sets that you can have. All the creams, you have a good selection to choose from. And then you can have the big boy, this one's yum. And then you can have all these here. Gives you an idea of what you can get at M&S. Every time I see this, I try not to buy it all through December. I've been looking at it, but today it's coming home with me. So gorgeous. Can't do 
Christmas without loads of cheese. This is like Marks and Spencer's selections of cheeses this year. This one looks lovely. That one is 10.50. Then you can have the one in the red packaging. Hopefully you can see what they are. That one's 13. 25 and then you have another cheese board favorites which are like mini this is a good way to go you get a good selection of everything there for nine pounds fifty then if you're really pushing the boat out you can get this super fancy one which is 24 pound but you do get quite a lot quite a lot that is a big old brie it would last about maybe a day and a half in my house at last the garland look how gorgeous this is i'm so happy to see it that's gone straight in our trolley oh it looks so rich and filling the good stuff are eight pound fifty but they sound so good look at the selection that you can have of the sausage rolls oh they are very tempting is something off Henry VIII's banker twink table. <laughs> Look at it. I'm, I'm struggling to hold it. It's so heavy. It's £26. Luxury winter woodland pie. You getting all that? Look at it. It's insane. Look how it looks there. Wow. It's so heavy. I need to put it down. Thing for Henry's giant table at Christmas. 675 cured massive pork pie. Oh, it, yeah, 26. Sorry, I thought I got that wrong. What's this? That's my ring. Sausage roll ring. Oh, hang on. Hang on. These, pork pie selection. Again, they're all different. Yum. And, and, what's this? Oh, look at this one. Cranberry topped pork pie. That might be tempting. £6.75 and a fancy hefty Melt Mowbray. <laughs> it's all massive. It's so yummy. They have cranberry in and they're part of the deal three for £8. I'll show you what else you can get. You can have all of these, but these are the only festive things that are new. Cheese board pin wheels, which do sound nice. Seeing a bit of gammon. There's this crackling one. And we're just looking at, oh, I can't reach it, guys. One second. Dodgy filming, sorry. This one with, like, cinnamon on. Lovely. And we've all got to have plenty of all of the stuffing and the piggies. Here they all are. Yum, the stuffing. Mmm. Like the collection ones, which are like different flavoured this one's yummy as it's where's the one with the cranberry this one's my favourite I love the pork and cranberry stuffing and what else do we have here the fancy pigs in blankets and what is here oh here you go look they're the collection ones <gasps> oh and you can have like a little oh yum see I could just eat tons of that for Christmas dinner no, loads of bits, <laughs> little mini party foods. That's my idea of fun. We love a charcuterie board, don't we guys? Look at all these extra specialty things that you can have here on these platters. 17, 16 pound, big packs of those. Hang on a second. Oh, how yummy is that? And this one here, cured meat selection. Yum, and then you can have all like these things here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Olives, and look at the lovely uh, boxes of them. How fancy are these? They are gorgeous. Grazing plaster. <laughs> How much are they? It doesn't have a price on. Oh well. And then you can have all of that. Your festive fish. Salmon tenderines, these ones here. You can all look at the prices. Terrine. Ooh. And then you have your prawn. So your prawn cocktail. Or you could just very dish up one MS made for you earlier. I like a prawn cocktail. That looks quite nice. And then you've got all of this stuff here. This video is going to be really big. I'm sorry, darling. That looks lovely. 
Whoa. Seafood starter. Oh, they look nice too. Salmon, and then what do we have here? Ooh, special. What's up? That is that a special prawn cocktail? No, that's a coronation chicken that's been dumped there. And uh, da da da, five seventy-five. Like these little mini starter prawn cocktails. They're the best ever ones. They look nice, and I love how you can buy it in like a <laughs> sandwich filler pot counter that they have in this M&S it's all like new they've done this up in here and I really like it you can have all these takeaway things like kebabs for your lunch you get one kebab and one side salad for six pounds there's not much left but you can have a little browse it's not Christmassy but you can have a little look look at these nice Sicilian lemon drinks oh wow these are really nice these little sodas vintage looking and what have I just seen here for your eyes a Christmas tree yum nut yum this they did this last year oh and it is yummy it's huge how much is it I can't remember how much it is now let me look I don't see a price I think it might be 525 yummy you have all your like accompaniment so you have like carrot and sweet mash your beef dripping roast potatoes do you like them ones guys we like the goose fat ones um cabbage you have a gigantic mash wow a gigantic mash my mum makes the best mash and the big tray of cauliflower cheese i love it at christmas time when everything goes huge <laughs> lovely parsnips that's probably one of my favorite parts of the christmas dinner and you've got more potatoes and there's my little Christmas tree thing. Are the lovely goose fat ones. This sounds to die for. Just look at that. 12 pounds, lovely. This is unusual. This must be new. That's what that's about. It is 10 pounds 50 and you get quite a lot. So it's a new take on the Brussels sprout. Now this is the good stuff for afters. Shall we go through what Marks and Spencers are doing for puddings this year? Obviously we'll start with custard. Now this one is Joyful Rodney Reindeers. Look how cute they are. There's only one pack left of them. Oh no, is there more? No, this is a cheesecake. Oh, can I get it out? Can I get it out? There he is. I've seen that one before. They bring that out every year, the Rodney Reindeer cheesecake. You have a beautiful fresh Yuletide log. They typically tend to be better than the ones that you buy off the shelf. Then you have, oh, look at that baked Alaska cheesecake. I'm not showing you very much of that. And then my brother had a pack of these last night, the Churro Stars with a dip. What are these? Or a fancy pan, a clementine one. That one is seven twenty-five. A proper sherry trifle. We are going for this one, a sticky toffee pudding trifle. That looks lush. Can't wait to try it. I hope it makes it to Christmas Day. Showed that one, passion fruit and white chocolate. Yule log 15 pounds and obviously you can have a normal strawberry trifle now you have this like collection load up here the posh profiteroles why are they posh let's see oh they do look rather yummy they are 625 you have mini chocolate torts so sweet and then you have macaroons, sorry if you say macarons, but I just like macaroons. Mini melt in the middle puddings, cute. What else are these? Mmm, look at that chocolate tort. It's a collection one, £16. Then you have, oh my, I love these, aren't they cute? Chocolate pine cones, they are adorable. They're actually hard to eat though, they're very, very solid. 
those are 16 as well and then you have a chocolate melt in the middle big old pudding for 10 and a white chocolate and raspberry um panna cotta i tried that one year it is rather yummy so i can recommend that too but i do like the pine cones the way they look Possibly absent this year is the brie and cranberry pizza which i was obsessed with last year marks and spencers please bring it back next year i have literally missed it so so much not here i'm sad i think i ate like one a week last year maybe two and here's the main event here are all the turkeys that you can have from marks and spencers you have stuffed ones not stuffed ones crowns smaller ones they have all different sizes and that up there to the company and then you have like the collection ones that i'll show you in a sec and here there are more turkeys these are the super fancy collection ones you can just feast your eyes on those. It's funny how they put security protected on them now. Mm. And down there. Maybe I'll insert some turkey sounds. I like this section. <laughs> forget these which Marks and Spencers are like famous for they're 10 pounds they don't do the snow globes this year which is a shame because they're kind of cult but they do have these pretty ones here I think there's three flavors da, 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 da. they are nice to have on your table if you enjoy the kind of flavors that they are the drinks are really lovely the Christmas colada that one's nice they these are 5.75 and if i just take you down here there's this version which is a christmas cosmo hopefully you can see what's in that again that's 5.75 those are really tasty nice drop of christmas ale stop festive flowers we got like the white poinsettias and red poinsettias and these gorgeous little baskets i'm dashing because we got to check out. My mum's running home to watch the Liverpool game. <laughs> and then these are your standard flowers. Where are the festive ones? There isn't any. I'll look in the King's Road. Never mind. We've got poinsettias. And those are sweet. And we're back, guys. That was a fun trip. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at Marks and Spencers whilst we were filling up the trolley with all the Christmas good stuff. I haven't got anything very festive in my Starbucks cup. It's literally just an orange squash because I am parched. Um, we've just about managed to fit it all in the fridge for now, which is a good thing. But we might have to get started eating sooner rather than later because we have an online shop coming on Friday. So we've got to try and squeeze it in. But I just thought I would show you something my mum picked up for me to put in my stocking from that little pop up look at these can you see them they're van gogh earrings i love them they're just so quirky and unusual i think they're great they also had um scream ones to scream and they had the girl with the pearl earring but i like these because we all know what happened to van gogh's ear so they're for my stocking i'm looking forward to wearing those um i'm going to wrap up this vlog here for today guys and i will see you again very very soon for vlogmas day 21 or 22 because i'm going to a christmas um shindig tomorrow so i might not get to filming around to filming very much but there'll definitely be a day 22 if there isn't a 21 i hope you've all had a super day and are enjoying all the festive good stuff loads and loads of love from london queenie and festive yogi him bye guys